G'day folks, well, I'm just uh, investigating uh, diff movement on the RAV, one of them, a little RAV. Um, yeah, the rear mount's been done at one point, but the uh, front ones are definitely fairly old and starting to degrade, so I'm going to do a uh, little temporary fix that has been mentioned a few times on RAV4 World, and that's to get a tube of uh, urethane sealer. Uh, expansion joint sealant and uh, yeah, just pack the the voids in the rubber with urethane and you know, just leave it they generally uh, do all right after that because these do eat diff bushings there's a bit of backlash in the drive line they naturally have a bit of backlash from factory but as the bushings and the um, all the um, rubber degrades it just gets worse that one there is still in good nick. That one hasn't been on there all that long, but the other ones are pretty rugged. So yeah, we'll have a close look at them. You can see one end up there. They're pressed into this housing, which has to be removed with the diff carrier out of the vehicle. So the diff and everything has to be dropped. You undo those bolts there with the jack underneath it, and the whole lot comes out. So that's a sort of a last resort thing. Nothing else is needing maintenance, like it's not leaking through the pinion seal. It's not leaking from the drive shaft output seals. Um, all the common places where these do leak, it's not doing it. So I'm not in any particular hurry to cut, take it out and disturb everything. I'd rather just leave it as it is, even though it's all flange mounted drive shafts. That's pretty straightforward. Just take the four bolts out and away you go. Um, yeah. Um, basically, got to take a tube of Sikaflex and fill some of these cavities up but first I want to put the camera under here and then um, load up the drive line with the brakes on and just see what happens that's gonna be the hard one I'm gonna to need to get a tube a little right angle tube to uh, pump it in there just using a caulking gun I can buy these things on eBay I can get this whole assembly with the cast iron bracket and everything for about a hundred bucks so it'd probably be cheaper than trying to cut these out and then press new ones in Plus it look a lot better. This, this thing's rusty as hell. This is a seaside salty car. Well, it's not too bad, but some things are just showing surface rust because it's a um, it's been on the, the seaside most of its life. Anyway. Okay, let's examine footage and see what happened. Yeah, there we go, problem solved. You can see it's just oozed out the back a bit. And it's filled those voids up. So, yeah, car can stay still for the time being, or tomorrow, until tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, it's all done. And that's what I was using there. Sikaflex 11FC in black. Very, very good stuff. It's expensive. It's set, I think that was about $17 a tube. And all I did was um, I extended the nozzle, just shoved a bit of clear vinyl tube over the end of it, and uh, that was it. Very good. Yeah. Interesting to see how well this works. I'm not going to touch the rear one. We'll leave that as it is. But the front ones were definitely getting a bit haggard. Definitely not as bad as some of the cases that I've seen. Like there's a video on YouTube of one guy doing it. And you just hear the, see the diff going clunk, 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 clunk against the housing. Uh, that's not good. But this one here, definitely improvement. I know that force does have to go somewhere, but because I'm using a... Um, a urethane sealant instead of making well, originally I was thinking of hard plastic bushes but no that's too hard you want something that flexes but you don't want something too soft these were always too soft so yeah we'll see how it goes anyway thanks for watching I'll do a bit of a update in the comments or the description based on how it goes tomorrow
on the next day whenever I get around to uh, swapping cars around.